Welcome back to Tulander Engineering. Today we're exploring a very important machine for us, the EDM hole popper. We're going to explain what this machine is, what it does, and I'll show you the entire process of making a simple dissection first without using a hole popper, and then I'll show you the entire process using a hole popper so each and every one of you can see how much of a game changer this machine really is. Let's get into it. Traditionally, drilling a hole involves using a rotating drill bit that carves through a workpiece. While effective for many applications, this method has its limitations. Drilling very small holes, especially in hardened materials, can be immensely challenging and often results in broken drills and frustration. Additionally, drilling through tall workpieces compounds the difficulty. Just imagine the daunting task of drilling a minuscule ten thousandths of an inch diameter hole in a lengthy four inch piece of hardened tool steel or carbide. With traditional methods, this task would seem nearly impossible. These constraints led to the development of alternative solutions, such as an EDM hole popper. EDM stands for Electrical Discharge Machining. An EDM hole popper is a specialized machine that sends pulses of electricity through an electrode that essentially melts the metal away, creating a hole. Unlike a drill, which has to make contact into the workpiece to make a hole, the electrode of the hole popper never actually touches the metal that it is drilling. Now let's take a deeper dive into why this is such an indispensable tool for a tool and die maker in general and for this business. I'm going to show you the entire process of making a simple dissection first without using a hole popper and then I'll show you the entire process using a hole popper so you can see how much of a game changer this machine really is. Without the use of a hole popper, the first thing we would do to create a dissection is to cut the raw material down to rough size with a bandsaw. For those of you that don't know, a dissection is just an individual replaceable component that would go in a stamping die. Here at Toolander Engineering, we specialize in building, designing, and running precision stamping dies. In this example, we are going to be making two blocks that screw together to become one, because the start hole is so small that it would be difficult to be made in traditional ways. I'll explain a bit later about this. After cutting the raw material down to rough size, we would square up the block and mill it to slightly above its finished size. Then all holes would be drilled and tapped, except for the start hole itself, which will be added later. The blocks are then sent out to heat treat to be hardened. After coming back from heat treat, the blocks are squared up with a surface grinder. After that, the start hole is going to be ground in with a surface grinder. Half of one hole on one side and the other half of the hole on the other side. The hole is so small because the profile is so small, and because this is a cutting die section, the start hole must completely clean up, or there would be a bad burr on the part when we tried to stamp it in the die. Then the blocks are screwed together. Now we can take our block over to the wire machine. The block will be indicated in nice and square. Then the wire will edge find the block to find its proper location. After finding our proper location on the edge of the block, we can move to the center of the block, thread the wire, and start the program. After about 20 minutes of runtime, the part is finished. This diamond shaped configuration at its most narrow point is about 12 thousandths and at its widest point it's about 20 thousandths. The last step in the process would be to grind the block so the configuration is on center and on size so it fits perfectly in the frame cavity. Now let's go through the process with a hole popper. The first thing that we would do is take a heat treated block over to the hole popper and burn our start holes. 
On the method without the hole popper, we milled and ground the outside, but with this method, we will wire cut the outside. This will save a lot of time and effort. Here are the start holes before we wire cut the profiles. The small hole here is about 13 thousandths in diameter. Next, we will mount the block in the EDM machine and begin cutting the inside profile. Then, the machine will automatically move to the other hole and cut the outside profile. After about an hour of cutting, this is what we have. And of course, it will be finished ground after to fit properly in the frame cavity. Now, as you can see, owning an EDM hole popper significantly streamlines the manufacturing process. Gone are the days of labor-intensive tasks, such as milling blocks for small cutting sections, heat treating of those individual blocks, and drilling very small holes. With the EDM hole popper, these steps are no longer necessary. This machine is truly a game changer. Now, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions, please post them down below. I will answer every single one of your questions. I love hearing from each and every one of you. If anyone out there has any stamping needs, please contact us. We would love to talk with you, answer any questions you have, and meet your needs. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.